Hi, my name is Corey Goss and I'll be giving you a quick introduction to the Design Browser. In this video, we'll be covering the following items. The Design Browser is probably the most common starting point for a SimVision debug session. It contains the entire RTL as well as System Verilog or E class-based environment hierarchy. And it's very easy to navigate through the RTL code as I'm doing here up top, simulator. And here are all of my interfaces in the, in the design. I can navigate down through the RTL. And as I click on any of the RTL uh, modules, you'll see all of the signals being listed here. Now, there's a lot of icons in SimVision and each one indicates a unique thing. So for instance, if the arrow here is shown on the left hand side, this shows that this is an input to this particular object. Now if it's shown on the right hand side that indicates that this is an output and this is useful to know because you can filter down in the bottom of this objects pane based on inputs or outputs right so i can filter away any objects that are not useful or not interesting to me and you can filter on in outs you can filter on transaction streams assertions and so forth right you can even filter based on particular signal names so if i wanted to search on anything to do with uh, uh wishbone wb then i would get all of those values okay uh, now additionally to your RTL you can also navigate through all of your class-based system Verilog uh, data structure so here I have all of my UVM components shown to me on the left hand side I have my environment with my APB and my UART right and uh, I can navigate through any of these and as I click on these objects I'll see all of the um, subclasses as well. So here's a virtual interface, right? Here's a configuration object, and I can expand down that configuration object to see all of the fields within that particular object. Now, anything that shows up in italicized font in the data members pane here means that this has not been probed. So you're looking at the instantaneous values at the current time in the simulator, but um, you know, there's no historical data being saved for these. So in order to probe these, you would just simply send them out to a waveform window and then continue the simulation and the italicized font would be gone. Now, by default, we don't show all of the class-based information here. We don't show all information because in some cases it might clutter the display. Notice that there's a dot, dot, dot here. And if you hover over the dot, 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 it lets you know that some items have been filtered away in the display. So what that means is, click up here and this is the 12.2 release so we have a gear icon but this will look a little bit differently uh, a little bit different in your release perhaps but if you click on this then this will show you all of the options in the sidebar and so here there's general options such as showing the module or unit name if you click on the Verilog language then you'll see that uh, not everything is being shown in fact if I scroll down you'll see the class definitions are not being shown by default so I can enable this and, and save this. This gets saved along with my preferences. And right now I'll just click uh, OK. And now notice that we have a whole bunch of other um, objects that have been added to my top level DUT here. You'll see that I have classes. And now when I go down into my packages, I can also expand out. Depending on how I've organized my classes, I can see all of the classes at the package level and I can expand each of those out and see what they all are. Also notice that if I wanted to find something very quickly, I could do that. I could just simply type, let's say UART, down here in the bottom find box. This is as of the 12.1 release. And now if I search in my hierarchy, I'll find all hits on the keyword UART, and it'll auto expand everything out in order to find those for me. Uh, one other feature is the ability to, um, to view contents in the signal list area over here on the right hand side or you can also view them in the selector below and you might ask well why is this handy why would I want to see signals down here well, this is because what we're looking at right now is actually the design browser sidebar and this sidebar is present in a lot of the different windows within SimVision so for instance if I were to take my top level signals and send those out to a waveform window what I can do is I can expand out the sidebar here and also do navigation of my hierarchy while in the waveform window and I can add signals to the uh, to the waveform window as I go just by clicking down here in the bottom so that's a quick walk through the design browser window and some of its major functionality